Hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. This is a bit of a catch-up video. I did a video uh, what, three, four weeks ago, maybe a bit longer, about uh, mounting a mobile antenna on the side of a panel van. I've got a, uh, I changed my small motorhome for a, a panel van. The advantage of that is it's lots and lots of steel, lots and lots of metal, ideal to put magnetic mounts on. But unfortunately, I found that. I couldn't put a magnetic mount on the roof of the vehicle because it had corrugations on the roof and although the magnetic mount would adhere to the roof of the van it, there wasn't enough capacity there because there was corrugation in between and so you only had sort of half of the magnetic mount making contact. So I suddenly had the thought of putting it on the side of the vehicle and at the time I said that you really need to use a centre loaded whip so that the coil is well above the uh, well clear of the roof of the, of the van and the, and the side of the van thereby well I thought I'd try one of my favourite antennas which is the Diamond FX range they're shorter antennas they've got a lovely little clutch arrangement for resonating and uh, I thought well I wonder whether I can use this whip because it's base loaded you see and that means say the coil is going to be quite close to the side of the van and I tried uh, to place the magnetic mount as high up the side of the van as I could um, where there was flat surface was right at the top of the roof it sort of chamfered over a bit and uh, therefore I'd have the same problem anyway I thought I'd try mounting this magnetic mount on the side of the vehicle using the shorter base loaded antenna just to see how it worked. But first of all, let me show you the inside of the van, or at least uh, my sort of normal operational position, so you can see what uh, I was using inside the van. Here you can see my operating position. I'm using CW. I rather enjoy CW, particularly for low power operation uh, with the IC705. And I've turned the camera down to the floor, you'll see the power supply. I've used the Jackery power supply rather than the internal uh, leisure battery. If we step outside the van, you'll see the antenna on the side. And that was the same position I used for the longer aerial, but this time I'm using the FX series, which is a smaller aerial with a base loading coil near the side of the van. This gave me a reasonably good VSWR of 1.6 to 1 at resonance, as you can see on the meter here. As you can see I use a ferrite choke on the feed line and you can see the right angle connection on the uh, mag mount here. I then moved the mag mount round to the back of the van mounting it on the door as high as I could. And I've got an excellent uh, match there as you can see on the SWR meter it's really white down to about 1.2, 1.3. The final position of the antenna was right on the rear of the van at the top. And that gave me an excellent VSWR. Let me show you. Well, you can't grumble at that, can you? Quite an excellent VSWR. Quite amazing. You know, I've had a few headaches trying to put a, a mobile antenna on the van and get it to work properly. Uh, if, you've re or if you've watched some of the previous videos, I. I made it work on the roof, but I was never happy with the uh, magnetic uh, mount on the roof because I needed some extra um, earth connections and so forth. And it just, to me, it doesn't, didn't seem right. It was only when I suddenly thought, why don't I put it on the side of the van with a right angle connector? And it all came together and it worked extremely well. On the, this uh, particular antenna, the FX, you get an excellent VSW, and I've said this before, the Diamond FX series, always, you always seem to get a very good match. I don't know what it is about those antennas, but they just work. And you saw the VSWR curve, it's a very pronounced curve, and a very good um, uh, minimum VSWR, so more than happy. Get 150 kilohertz bandwidth on 20 meters at the 2 to 1 points. That's fine for, for uh, SSB, you can move around the band quite happily. I'm not a great fan of, it for the, of ATUs, at least external ATUs um, or, or mobile. For no other reason, an extra bit of gear, um, I like to have it fairly compact. So if, if you haven't got an internal ATU in the radio, you can still use that antenna and move around the band quite happily. And of course with CW it's not a problem at all. I've worked a few stations uh, today uh, on 20 metres, nothing DXC, uh, 
Um, I worked a few sta stations in Europe. Oh, I worked at, at one station in Israel. But you know, I was I wasn't looking for DX, and it wasn't particularly good conditions. But I was making the contacts, and that's really uh, all part of the fun of ham radio, isn't it? So, if by watching this video you've learned something, fine. Well, I thought I'd just pass on my own experience. Um, you know, ham radio isn't always straightforward, is it? You think, oh, plonk and a magnetic mount on the roof, uh, and it'll be fine. All the right metal work. Well, didn't realise until I got the man that it wasn't a flat roof. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, at the end of the day, the problem solved. I'm a happy bunny. And I thank you for your support on this video channel. Much appreciated. Take care. Enjoy your ham radio. See you in the next video.